everybody we're back on minecraft and i've got some interesting things that i want to show you and we're going to be doing uh some pretty fun things today so let's get started so i've done quite a bit since the last time that we were on here and a lot of them are pretty important especially when we get deeper into the game so let's kind of just go one by one so last episode was heavily revolved around getting witherheads and you guys saw like right at the end of the episode it i built that uh, the Wither Skeleton Farm. Yeah, I forgot the name for a second. So, obviously I already showed you guys that, so I'm not going to show you. But, I did collect more heads. And, just to give you guys a little update. So, I have eight. And, I also already got another beacon. I think I might have done that off camera. Uh, let's get the rearranging tools and enchanting out of the way. That one's pretty simple. If you guys notice, uh, I do this basically every episode. But, a lot of things are different. Um, I made things a lot easier on the eyes and on the organization now so before if you guys remember i just had um one tool for that specific type and i just threw everything in there broken ones bad ones things without good enchantments i completely switched that up so i got all of them at the bottom here now and i even organized them so up here are my work picks then we got my silk touch then we got my fortunes uh and then we have shovels I just put them all together but these are all good shovels these are all good axes so you guys see the trend these are these are all of the good ones down at the bottom here are either the broken ones or the ones that i still need to enchant to get them to where they need to be oh but that's not too important to you guys so let's get out uh something else uh redstone doors outside so i was playing around with some redstone doors uh and let's go check that out real quick you guys if you notice over here i have quite a bit of redstone going here so i was playing around with two doors they had two different ideas. So this one, I kind of wanted a door that, this is a four, I should probably just show you guys. That one's a lot better. This one's poo-poo. I mean, you guys can see all the redstone. This is not very com compact. This is not very logical. But basically what I wanted is I wanted a two by two door. And then that one block at a time would go away. And it's a pretty long corridor. I didn't get it very close. Uh, well, I got it close, but it's not how I wanted it, and it was, I used a little bit too much redstone. This is not compact. That one is pretty nice and compact, but anyway, I'll show you guys what it does. So that, so you guys can just see it kind of just goes one by one. The only problem is it's not, it doesn't really go in order. So like I was explaining, there's just a lot of redstone, too many repeaters. Like these clocks are terrible. This doesn't work. It was fun, but it doesn't work. Now this door, I'm a little bit more proud of, um, but it's still nothing special. So. I don't know why I had this scene with, uh, in the Star Wars movie, The Phantom Menace, with, like, Darth Maul, with, like, the red lights. I don't know why I had that idea in my head, but I kind of want to build something like that. So, real quickly, I'm just going to show you the redstone. The redstone is super simple. It's really not hard. And, plus, you could, this redstone even might look a little bit weird, but it's actually just a repeating pattern. Literally, like, one block, this pattern right here. Th this is the entire pattern like stop here this is the entire pattern you just repeat that over and over and over again and that's just how the timings work now you can set each of these to four and each of these to two and this is what the door itself does so it kind of opens up like how kind of how the darth maul thing worked where like they would turn on and off now this one obviously doesn't turn on and off it kind of goes like door by door door by door door by door but i think this looks like it looks really cool on running through and then since I liked this door a lot better, I kind of like fancied it up, added all another break and added like a redstone, uh, uh, redstone blocks to kind of make it light up. But I just like this one because it's, it, this one's super compact. Like it's literally one block out and one block on top and you have this pretty cool door here. Oh, and guys, I did forget to mention, uh, I got some new computer parts. This is actually the first video I'm recording with my new motherboard processor. And ram so i got a new uh i9 intel 9900 uh processor obviously i got a new motherboard with that and i bought 16 more gigs of ram so now i have 32. so let's get the slime chunk out of the way uh so this is probably something we're going to be working on today uh but the other thing is a little bit bigger that i wanted to show you guys so the one thing look at all the items we have we basically farmed every item except one major one that is pretty important we don't have any slime we've never had any slime our sticky pistons is like 13 we we don't have any which is pretty bad so i said what am i doing i need a slime farm step so i figured out where the most recent or where the nearest slime chunks are and i did find some under here 
and you guys know this is like where I mine. It's literally right here. So, uh, and yeah, so now I've got the jump boost, which is really nice. This is a slime chunk right here. This is a slime chunk. That is a slime chunk, and that is a slime chunk. And I also did myself a favor and lit up this entire place for quite a bit. I still have plenty to go, but I lit up quite a bit. So now slime, mostly slimes are going to be spawning. So these four are slime chunks and we're going to be building farms inside of them. But before we do that, I have to show you guys something super, super important. Um, probably the most important thing we've done in quite a while just for the fact um, that I haven't been really, this is something that's super important to the game uh ender ender balls ender eyes so we got an eyeball farm slash xp farm because it's pretty useful for xp so i was running a little low on uh ender pearls and i was like oh that's not very good i should probably do something about that what i usually do is i just go to the end and i just go with my fortune three and i just farm for a while and let me turn it to easy for now so you guys can see the enders uh where is my source this is my god sword right here i'll show you guys what i built so let's head over there here we are in the end and like i said before if you guys noticed we have these little things so the basic premise was you would stand here and you would just look into the eyes of the endermen and a couple of them would come and then you would just stand here and they can't hit you because of this and you would just collect eyeballs and I've gotta kill these ones so you would okay, get out of here. you would just collect some eyeballs and xp the only problem with this method was the fact that the terrain is uneven um, not a good amount would be spawning. It, it's just a very inefficient way. So, what I did was I went out, obviously, away from the mainland so I can concentrate all of the ender spawns in a single place. So, when we are over here on this square, endermen don't spawn anywhere but on this square. You can already see the absolute crap ton that are spawning so there are even other methods of doing ender farms that are probably more efficient but this is personally my favorite so like, like you can see there are no endermen over there we are too far away and the only thing they can spawn on the only thing is this square that i handmade that is a sound so this is basically an upgraded version of the other one so it's all level plane I can look all of them in the eyes, and I made it so the square is far away enough where I can reach every single one of these endermen, except the ones like all the way at the corners. Those can be a little bit rough. Um, and I even upgraded myself with a bunch of hoppers, and of course we have some chests to collect them in, and some chests up here for extra storage, and down here. Since of course, this is mainly for ender pearls, but while killing you get a lot of xp from these endermen so you can go down here and i have some books some lapis and we can actually do enchanting on the spot so we don't even have to like you know if i have a ton of levels and i just want to use them now because of course the higher you go the harder it is so this is for strategic purposes to save amount of levels but yeah so i built this down here now this is pretty big because i did all of this off camera which i always feel bad for but uh, this is going to get us a lot of XP, a lot of Ender Pearls, so this is pretty good. Now, let me give you guys a quick demonstration since, again, I didn't build this. I kind of feel bad. So, we just stand here. We just look at all of them. Like I said, I can reach every single one of them. And this will give us an absolute crap ton. You guys can see every single one is just running over to me. And this is going to get kind of loud, guys, so bear with me here. Every single one of these endermen is gonna come running to me. And see, even though this can be a little bit rough to get, but even those ones will come. So now, guys, look at this. We have probably a good 100 endermen here. And just hit them. guys just like that i'm gonna try not to look at anymore and just like that you have a okay come on guys you have a crap ton of xp and you have a crap ton of ender pearls you guys saw it literally that was maybe less than a minute less than a minute i got over three four levels and already a bunch of stacks of ender pearls so guys this farm will help tremendously i'm probably gonna be here a lot collecting levels getting ender pearls but this is this is pretty important guys and this is a tip for those of you that are starting worlds that are still not very far into your worlds yet 
I would highly recommend the quicker you do this, the better. Just because this allows you to get to really late game. Like, I mean, by late, I mean, like, where I am now with, like, diamond blocks and, like, basically farming everything in the game. Because this gets you levels quickly, so you can up get a lot of diamond tools very, very quickly to a high enchanted level. I mean, efficiency 5, all your fortune, silk touches, because you guys know I have, like, 3, 4, 5 of every pick now. Like, I don't... I'm not really worried about that. You can get to this stage very, very quickly with the amount of XP you get from this. Also, Ender Pearls are pretty useful all around. You always want to be carrying Ender Pearls if you have a farm like this. Just super, super nice. And yeah, that's it. That is what I've been doing for the past couple days, weeks, and I haven't recorded on quite a bit. Um, but now the main point of this video is that slime farm. So I don't know if we're going to finish today, but we're definitely going to get started. Okay guys, so I've got my slabs and some of my redstone. Now this isn't all the items, but we can make one trip back up. Well, either way, we're gonna get started with this one chunk, and then if I wanna make far- Oh, there's the slime. And if I wanna make any more later, uh, I'll go ahead and do that then. Um, hmm. I'm probably gonna go in peaceful while building. Alright guys, so I've got the chunks enabled, just to kinda also let you guys visualize it. So, this is the chunk that the slimes actually spawn in so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be layering this entire thing with layers all the way up until 40 to that's obviously where they spawn into up to 40 and under here we're going to have uh these magma blocks to hurt them and we're going to have iron golems that they're going to be attracted to and then we're going to have a minecart system collecting all the drops all right guys so i kind of just did the layers so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine so we have nine layers at the moment and yeah right now all i have to do is just put in slabs so i'm gonna be doing that for quite a while all right everybody quick update so all of the floors are done i also added an extra panel which i'll tell you guys in a second and this is where the slimes are going to be falling so i'm going to be having iron golems down the side here and the slime's gonna be jumping off, landing there, and then we're gonna have the rails collect them, which we'll put down the rails in a second. And you might be wondering why I added this. So, obviously, over here we have a three gap space that slimes can fall down, but over here we're not gonna have anything. We're just gonna have glass. But, since from the video that I watched, since adult slimes need a little bit of space uh, to actually spawn, so they can only spawn in this, but they need a three by three uh, to actually spawn. So, in this block, they wouldn't be able to spawn because they only have one, two. So by adding this, no mob is going to be able to spawn here, but it gives the adult enough s space to actually spawn on this block. Because if this wasn't here, they'd only be able to spawn on here. Bas essentially wasting an entire ring and the largest ring around this thing. Uh, so yeah, what we're going to do now is I'm going to add the rail tracks. And I'm going to encase this in a big thing of glass. But for now, I'm going to go eat and I'll be back. Alright everybody, time to add some redstone to this boy. So, let's go down here. <clears throat> now, we made a little bit of a mistake. I should have probably added these in after, but that's fine. So, let's start with a chest and a hopper. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is bringing this track all the way down, looping around, and going through this entire thing. Alright, so all the mine tracks are down. So, now we do the same thing on this side. So, we have chest and a hopper. Okay, guys, so to actually power these things, we take a comparator on each one. Then we go ahead and we need some blocks. So let's just grab some of these. Now, we're probably going to replace these later with some better blocks, but you put a uh, torch on each of those. You put another block, and I'm probably going to need two more blocks here. Then you take some repeaters, and you repeat it right there. You repeat it right there, and then one more block. There we go. Okay, so that's all set. But of course, we do have to power uh, these things. So what we can do is just torch over here, torch over here. And for these other ones, we can just go on top and lever and lever. And there we go. So now all of them are on. Okay, so I'm going to quickly copy this to the other side. All right, guys. So both sides are perfectly duplicated with this redstone, except no, it's not. I completely lied. I forgot about this part. This part's really easy to do. Uh, I'll show you guys one more time. So you block, block, rest on torch, torch, block, block, and then might as well clear this out in the back here anyway. And then you repeater, repeater, 
and block block and you're set now of course you do need uh hopper carts on this but i'll add those in a second okay guys so the build is actually almost done all we really need is iron golems and then the glass probably the hardest part of this is the iron golem so we're gonna deal with those next but for that i need some iron some pumpkins and lots of fences well guys for the first time ever in my life i'm actually gonna go to the pumpkin farm like you guys won't believe this but i've never needed to go to the pumpkin farm because why would you need pumpkins but finally we need some pumpkins that's nuts okay guys i got lots of glass lots of fences now it's time to head back so we have to put an iron golem every two levels of this we just drop all the way down so we're gonna have to put them every two levels on this side okay so like i said we want the golem on those two blocks and we're gonna want fences all the way around this just like that and now we gotta work to get a golem in there i haven't really planned this out yet but uh how hard could it be right So let's get this stuff out. Oops. That's not how you do it. Actually, I'm going to remove that one too. Let's do that. And then like that. And then like that. And then we just shove the thing in there. Drop. There we go. And you do that. And then you cage it up. You just put fences all around it. I know these are different colored fences. If I need to, I'll come and fix this later. Right now, I just want to build a stupid thing. And you want to leave its head open so the mobs can actually see the golem. And just like that. And then you want to keep going up. And of course, the next golem will be right at this stage. So we're going to leave that little guy open right there. We're going to, oops. Actually, that's completely fine. We can technically cover his head like that. So now we want to be on this one. Okay, so yeah, we're right. It is this one right here. And we do the exact same thing. We're going to go all the way around. Just like that. And same procedure. We have to add another golem. So I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to add three more blocks for safety. And then we're going to one, two, three, bam, and then push them. Oh, no, 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 you, 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 no, 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 you go in there. There we go. Push them in there. And then I'm going to be doing, I'm going to do this for the other side and the rest. All right, everybody. So the golems are all set in place. You can see on both sides are raised all the way up so now basically the only thing we have to do left is surround this place with glass and clean it up and obviously make it toward where like put it on easy and let slime start spawning so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make in case the entire place with glass clean up a bit and then we'll test it all right everybody so uh it's done it's weird to say because i've been here for quite a while doing this but yeah, it's done. So every single layer is in. The glass is surrounding the entire thing. All of the golems are set and ready. Uh, all of the redstone. We only need to do one more thing. That is grab some hopper carts, place them on there. Let's go ahead and place that there. And let's go ahead and place that. Oof. That's not meant to happen. All right, everybody, I fixed both sides. Okay, so this side is working. Not exactly sure why you're stopped. Can you... Can you not do that by chance? We're good, right? You're powered. You're powered. Okay, okay. Let's just give this a try. And just to prove to you guys, this actually does work. I, again, I don't know why that stopped. But... Let's see if it does it again. There is slime in here. There is slime. That means it worked. I did see a slime while I was fixing this. Okay, it doesn't seem to have a problem now. 
hopefully doesn't screw up later on but there is slime so it works now i wish you could maybe see a slime that would be sick all right but either way so that's all set now so we can skedaddle let's try to find try to find a way out of here and let's see if we can observe now of course this farm is nowhere near done there's a lot of cleanup to do around it uh, maybe replace it with cooler blocks but let's see if we can actually see at least one slime spawning in here now the only problem is once again i didn't clear out very well basically everything around it so the spawns are a little bit wonky and this dude is a this dude is pimp out what are you doing dude what are you doing full of armor all right if we could see like one slime dude why does he have gold too Dude, is there like gold zombies dropping? Ooh, hello? Anyway. Okay, well there's a slime, but that is in the wrong slime chunk. So that's another thing that I actually have to do. I have to take these slime chunks. Realistically, if I wanted to make this farm as efficient as possible, I need to get rid of everything around. And that's actually what I'm going to be working on because I need everything to be gone. Just straight up. I need everything around here to be gone. So... That's what I'm going to be doing. Now, of course, until I get rid of it, this farm is not going to be at full efficiency. But I'm going to sit here and wait for at least one slime, just so I can prove to you guys that this does work. Is that a... Oh, that's a slime. Guys, we did it. That's a slime. And you can see... Okay. I need to fix that. I don't like that sound. I, I need to fix that. <laughs> I should probably put in fences there. But as you can see, when the minecart comes around, it picks up the slime... Actually, like, this is super sick. Okay, it's over there. It'll come back around. Does it? It picks those up, right? See, it should pick those up now. It does pick them up. Stands here. Drops them off. Once it's done, it will go right back. And we can see here. We got that slime, boys. All right. So, that's it. All right. Uh, project is finished for today. Like I said, I'll clean up, do everything. But I proved to you guys, it works, that is done, that is the slime farm ready and set. Okay guys, so that's probably going to be it for today. Uh, that slime farm took quite a while for me. I don't know how long the video is going to be, but hopefully it's long enough to, you know, make an episode. But, um, especially with the ender farm that I built off camera, that kind of stuff. I, I kind of need to cut the episode here. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like in the comment as a personal channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.